हाय हेलो नमस्ते माय डियर ऑल एई एस्पिरेंट्स लेट मी एक्सप्लेन सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वर गिवन इन प्रीवियस एई एग्जामिनेशंस एक्चुअली हियर वी हैव फोर डिफरेंट क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वर आस्क्ड फ्रॉम द टॉपिक ऑफ द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द ट्रांसमिशन लाइंस फोर सिंपल क्वेश्चंस अभी कोड़ा परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द ट्रांसमिशन लाइंस टॉपिक नुंची इपीडीसीएल मरी एसपीडीसीएल अड़बड़न क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन चुद चला सिंपल क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्यार्टरिस्टिक इंपीरियन आफ् ए लाइन इन ओम वित् सीरी इंपीरियन आफ जीरो पाइंट वन ओम पर् यूनिट अंड शेंट अडम आफ जीरो पाइंट जीरो जीरो वन ओम पर् यूनिट इज गि बै मन को प्रॉब्लम लो क्लियर गाइड चारों सीरीज इंपीरियंस ऑफ द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इज गिवन इवन शंट एडमिटेंस इज आल्सो प्रोवाइडेड पर यूनिट लेंथ वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इंपीरियंस माय डियर फ्रेंड्स व्हाट इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इंपीरियंस ऑफ द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इंपीरियंस ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इज गिवन सिंपली स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सीरीज इंपीरियंस बाय शंट एडमिटेंस सीरीज इंपीरियंस बाय शंट एडमिटेंस एक्चुअली सीरीज इंपीरियंस इज फॉर्मड विद सीरीज पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द टाइम शो लाइन एंड शंट एडमिटेंस इज फॉर्मड विद शंट पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द टाइम शो लाइंस सी हियर शंट एडमिटेंस शंट एडमिटेंस एक्चुअली वी नो प्रीटी वेल हियर इफ दिस इज अ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन व्हाट अबाउट द टर्म पैरामीटर्स ऑफ टाइम शो ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इज हैविंग फोर पैरामीटर्स Resistance, inductance, capacitance, conductance. Out of which two are series parameters, resistance, inductance, and uh, remaining two are shunt parameters, capacitance as well as conductance. Man, kekda. So today, R L C G, R L C G. Dini, resistance as well as inductance are series parameters as, and capacitance and conductance are shunt parameters. These two are shunt parameters, and these two are series parameters. Series parameters will form series impedance. Series impedance this form uh, series impedance. So Y, sorry Z, series impedance Z. Z is equal to R plus J X L, which is equal to R plus J omega L. R plus J omega L. And these uh, two shunt parameters, can we say? I mean, that shunt impedance form is a shunt impedance is Y here. Y is equal to G plus J omega C. G plus J omega C. My dear friends, you understand? So, which is nothing but square root of series impedance J by shunt impedance Y is equal to R plus J omega L by R plus J omega L by G plus J omega C. But in this question, directly given here, J per unit length is here. So, per unit length J is given by series impedance zero point one ohm. And shunt admittance is given as y is equal to 0.001 more, 0.001 more. Then uh, just substitute these values here. You may get uh, simply uh, what is that? The characteristic impedance uh, Z C is equal to square root of Z Y. Y is equal to square root of series impedance is 0.1, 0.1 by 0.001. My dear friends. 0.1 by 0.001, which is equal to here. 0.1 means here 1 by 10 divided by this is 1 by 1000, which is equal to square root of 1000 by 10. So 1000 by 10. So 1000 will be shifted to the right side. And here it is square root of 100, which is equal to 10. 10 ohms. 10 ohms. Where is it? So per unit length is given by Z is equal to 10. Right, the characteristic impedance of a line in ohms. So, my friend, what is the characteristic impedance? Is good. Ten ohms, what is it? What is the expression for finding characteristic impedance? Is nothing but characteristic impedance is equal to square root of Z by Y, where Z is the series impedance and Y is the shunt admittance, right? And uh, characteristic impedance is generally formed with uh, the parameters of the transmission line, which are nothing but resistance, inductance, capacitance, as well as the Conductance, right? Now let's see the next question here, my dear friends. And this question uh, was also asked in uh, EPDCL 2014. And uh, the question is: A transmission line has 
three percentage resistance and five percentage of inductive reactant. Its percentage regulation at full load and zero point eight lead power factor. So my dear friends here, actually here uh, for short transmission line, for short transmission line, percentage voltage regulation is equal to simply percentage voltage regulation. We have various expression here is equal to uh, actually here this is uh, we know here Vs minus Vr by Vr into 100 <coughs> which is also equal to what here sir, IR into IR into R cos phi R plus R minus XL sin phi R by Vr into 100 into 100 we use plus sign for lagging loads plus sign for lagging loads, minus sign for leading loads, leading loads. And if, if the percentage of resistance as well as percentage of reactance is given, then this is percentage R into cos phi R plus or minus percentage X into sin phi R, sin phi R. So this is the, this is, these are the expression for finding the voltage regulation of a short transmission line, my dear friends. As per the given data, clearly provided here, percentage resistance is provided and percentage reactance is provided. Then we know power factors, uh, cos phi R is equal to 0.8 lead. Lead and we need to take a minus here. See, when power factor is leading power factor, at a leading power factor, we know here, at a leading power factor, what about percentage voltage relation? Percentage voltage regulation is given by percentage R into cos phi R. Old, leading gravity, manam, in this could not, madhulo minus this color. Already I told you, right? Uh, percentage X into sin phi R. But what is, uh, what are the values of uh, percentage of uh, percentage R as well as percentage X here, yeah, resistance percentage 3 and uh, uh, re induct reactance percentage 5. Percentage R is equal to 3, percentage X is equal to 5. Then what about cos phi R? Cos phi R is equal to 0 0.8. My dear friends, 0 0.8 means that it is 8 by 10. 8 by 10 means it is 4 by 5. Okay, you take the triangle here, you will get here. Otherwise, you know here sin phi r is equal to square root of 1 minus cos square phi r. So what happened here? Square 1 minus it is 16 by uh, 25. You may get square root of 9 by 25 which is equal to 3 by 5. Right? 3 by 5. So otherwise you may use phi r is equal to adjacent side is here. 4 hypotenuse phi means you may get here 3. So sin phi r is equal to 3 by 5. Sin 3 by 5. Use here, percentage are 3 here, 3 into cos phi r, power factor, let leave. So here, what is that here? 0 0.8 minus percentage x phi into sin phi r is equal to uh, 3 by 5 means it is 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Here, 3 into 0 0.8, my difference, what is that? 2.4 minus 5 into 0 0.6, how much here? 3, 2.4 minus 3 means here, minus 0 0.6. Yes, at leading power factor, generally the voltage relation may become what here? Negative, negative. So here, <coughs> so minus 0 0.6, voltage relation is no minus. So for lagging loads, we will consider here plus sign between these two terms. For leading loads, we will consider here minus sign. Anyhow, here when percentage of the resistance as well as the percentage of the inductive reactants uh, are given, uh, then we used. Uh, uh, the expression percentage R into cos phi R plus or minus percentage uh, X into sin phi R to find out the voltage regulation. Let's see the next question here. Right. Uh, this question was also asked in APDCL 2014. A single phase short term insulin has an impedance, an impedance of uh, J0.6 ohms, supplies a resistive load of 500 amperes at 400 volts, the sending and power factor will be, so my dear friends here, first of all, there is a transmission line, it is having, clearly, a single phase transmission line having an impedance of J0.6, J0.6 ohms, 
right? It is a supplying load here to a resistive load. So here, this is clearly a resistive load RL here, RL, RL. So what is, uh, it is a supplying power, uh, supplying power at what here? 400 volts, so 400 volts. And what is the current flowing through it here? This is the clearly mentioned here, 500 amperes, my dear friends. And what do we need to find here? We need to find here, this is sending in here. Uh, sending and power factor. So we need to find sending and power factor. Sending and power factor is got what is simply here. This is R by Z. Here R means R L by Z. Here, yeah? okay. Here, <clears throat> uh, R L is got any from this simply R L is equal to load resistance, which is nothing but uh, here. But we know the voltage across the load resistance as well as current going to the load resistance. So R L is got V by I load voltage by load current. So receiving and voltage by receiving current, which is nothing but here. 400 divided by I. So I is equal to 500, right? So, so what is the deal? Voltage is here simply. <clears throat> so R is equal to V by I. So 400 by 500. So it is nothing but 4 by 5. 4 by 5 is equal to 0 0.8. 0 0.8 ohms. 0 0.8. Then what about Z is equal to? Z is equal to R plus JX, which is nothing but is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 plus J is 0 0.6. Then modulus of Z is equal to square root of 0 0.8 to whole square plus 0 0.6 whole square, which means square root of 0 0.64 plus 0 0.36, which means here square root of 1. It's, it's means simply 1. Okay. Then power factor is equal to cos phi is equal to R by Z. What is R here? 0 0.8 by R is 0 0.8 by Z, modulus of Z is how much here? 1. It is 0 0.8 power factor lag. In the end, reactants get the one thing. 0 0.8 power factor lag. So, it's a tired question, simple question. Or the AC circuit question lag now on this, right? This uh, question seem, uh, seems to be uh, a question from AC circuit theory. So, okay, anyhow, uh, anyhow, this is related to single phase short transmission line. Line, right, so 0 0.8, 0 0.8 lagging. So option B is the right answer. In ABCD parameters, uh, ZL by two in the T equivalent shown can be represented as actually on a joint equal network picture. Here we have a nominal T network here, then T network on top. So you can ever the clear uh, ZL by two, the ZL by two, and the the YL and Actually, we nominal T network is nominal. The given is nominal T network. For nominal T network, what about the uh, ABCD parameters, my dear friends? The ABCD parameters are, the ABCD parameters are simply 1 plus YZ by 2. So, here a YL ZL again. So, YL ZL by 2. This one here, ZL into 1 plus YL ZL by 4. And this is YL. And this is 1 plus YL ZL by 2. Then in this case here, what is A equal? A is equal to this one, right? A is equal. So here A is equal to 1 plus YL ZL by 2, right? And C is equal to what else? Clearly YL, right? C is equal to YL. From this, what happened, my dear friends, here? YL ZL by 2 is equal to, if, we shift, if I shift 1 to left side, A minus 1, minus 1. I would like to shift here YL to the right side, my dear friends. So, what I am going to ZL by 2 is equal to, from one concourse code, ZL by 2 value, ZL by 2 is equal to YL in right side, just same thing, A minus 1 by, A minus 1 by, so here, YL, so ZL by 2 equal to YL and the A minus 1 by, denominator of just got D by YL, A minus 1 by YL, A minus 1 by, YL is equal to what already C. So, ZL by 2 value is how much here? A minus 1 by C, which is a direct question here. A minus 1 by C, right? So, my dear friends, uh, that's it here. I have simple four questions. I have choose some. So, I have a more of model. So, I have discuss it. So, my dear friends, Sai Medha, Dil Shikunagar, Hyderabad, already my offline batch to start in the other uh, Sai Medha, Tirupati Lokuda, offline batch, AE and AW batch run out on the classes run out on the so admissions daily. So, my dear friends, uh, we are getting so many inquiries as well as requests from the parents as well as the student domain. 
సో ఏ మాత్రం ఆలస్యం చేయకుండా ఆల్రెడీ అడ్మిషన్స్ ప్రోగ్రెస్లో ఉన్నాయి కాబట్టి మీరు ఎన్రోల్ చేసుకోవాలనుకుంటే మీరు స్కోల్ అవుతున్న వాడే నెంబర్కి కాల్ చేయండి సో టేక్ ఇమీడియట్ అడ్మిషన్ అండ్ స్టార్ట్ పిక్ ప్రిపరేషన్ సో జూరింగ్ దిస్ ప్రాసెస్ వీ విల్ బి విత్ యూ అంటిల్ అండ్ అన్లెస్ యూ రీచ్ యువర్ గోల్ రైట్స్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైం మీకు లైవ్ క్లాసెస్ కూడా లైవ్ క్లాసెస్ ఎవరైతే జాబ్స్ చేసుకుంటూ మరి ఆఫ్లైన్ క్లాసెస్కి అటెండ్ అయ్యే అవకాశం లేనటువంటి యాస్పిరెంట్స్ ఎవరైతే ఉన్నారో వాళ్ళ కోసం స్పెషల్గా మరి లైవ్ బ్యాచ్ ఒకటి రన్ అవుతూ ఉంది సో వాటికి కూడా ఎన్రోల్ చేసుకోవాలన్నా కూడా మీరు ఇమీడియట్గా కాంటాక్ట్ నెంబర్ కాంటాక్ట్ చేసి మరి ఎన్రోల్ చేసుకోండి సో వీ విష్ యూ గుడ్ లక్ అండ్ వెరీ ఆల్ ది బెస్ట్ థ్యాంక్ వెరీ మచ్ దిస్ ఇస్ యువర్ ఎన్ఆర్ సార్ సాయి మీద దిల్సుఖ్ నగర్ హైదరాబాద్